First tonight, a new study by the Texas Freedom Network is opening the conversation about sex education in our schools. 83% of districts had no sex education at all or only taught abstinence. CBS 4's Tiffany Huertas found out every district in the Valley has their own curriculum on the topic. The largest school district in Cameron County has been discussing the benefits of practicing abstinence for many years. We'll discuss different things like explain the tolerance is important in relationships, explain how a family structure uh, can change over time. Brownsville Independent School District's PE and Health Curriculum Specialist Fred Tamez reads some of the topics discussed in the 8th grade's abstinence curriculum. Students are required to take uh, two semesters of health and they receive it in the eighth grade. In the high school level, they're required to take two semesters of health also. The lesson, which has been in place for years, is typically a week and optional. To reduce the pregnancy rates and, and make sure that our, that our students understand that it's okay to wait. According to the CDC, Texas ranked fifth highest in the nation in teen birth rates in 2015. 41 births per 1,000 women ages 15 to 19. In every district, there's a group called School Health Advisory Council making the final decisions about the curriculum. Members come from different areas of the community. La Feria ISD has two weeks of health education starting in April. Because the state removed the requirement, we no longer make it mandatory. In 2009, the state eliminated the requirement that students take a health education class to graduate. Schools can now offer the class as an elective or as a local requirement. Last year, the district added a wellness and sexual health curriculum for eighth graders. And it's all about um, healthy habits and relationships and making good choices. We asked those in the community what their thoughts were. Nowadays, uh, there's a lot of uh, disease going on right now. The girls now coming up pregnant, very, very young. So I do love this program. I believe that our Texas children should have the opportunity to be taught sex education as long as it's medically accurate and age appropriate. State Board of Education member for District 2, Ruben Cortez, says this conversation will not be left behind. When our board reviews this next year, you know, uh, my thing is going to be that we maintain uh, the conversation on birth control and abstinence. Harlingen CISD offers human growth, development, and sexuality education curriculum. In the studio, Tiffany Huerta, CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com.